my name is Khalik from KD Tax. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to implement live broadcasting or live streaming in WordPress. All you need to do, go to your WordPress website, go to your admin dashboard, click plugins, add new plugins. You need to have one plugin, you need to install one plugin. The plugin name is WP Stream. Click install. <coughs> it will be installed in a while. Now click active. After you active the WP stream, you will see the WP stream tab in the left left side left side sidebar. Just click on the WP stream. Here you see they ask you for some credentials to uh, make your WP stream connected to backend server. Click on here. <coughs> Just need to fill one form. Okay. Uh, now you just need to enter the same email and password here. Save changes. <coughs> if you see the green uh, green tab saying the connected to wpstream.net, it means you are good to go. So now you can click on the free live channel free video. Click add new. Give any name like uh, pass live. Um, you don't need to do anything here. Just click publish. After clicking publish, you see here, here record yes and then broadcast channel <coughs> it will take a while to set up to your setting okay basically there is the, there are two ways to to go for live streaming uh, number one is uh, browser based number two is the OBS Uh, this is the OBS you can use the OBS to go to to go for live streaming uh, you can use the browser I will show you the how to do in both ways I mean like uh, how to do with the OBS and how to do with the browser okay it's still getting ready to see please wait okay first we will try with browser Okay, first we will try with the browser. Okay, allow. So here you can see my handsome face. So let's check this one. In this tab, you see there is one viewer and the one viewer is of course me. And I'm here broadcasting my video. Your video will be appear in a while.
uh, maybe it's just because I'm using the local host and it's uh, loading but uh, if you're using the, <coughs> the first server it won't be like this let's uh, go for the other uh, method mm, start with third party this video okay there is no more video oh start with third party so here we go for OBS okay and go to settings and then stream and then you need to copy this link let's see here and copy the key stream key and then paste it here ok after you do that already I'm uh, select if you don't have this camera you can select from here start streaming When you see the green the green box over here it means you are already broadcasting your video so you're good to go oh, it will be still loading just because I'm using the local host you can see I'm using the local host but if you are using the Let me show you in my real server. Let's go like this. And let me demonstrate for you in my real server. Okay? Because in local host it's not running. Okay, I go here. Okay, this is my first time okay this one is not the local host okay so you will definitely see the recording Let me stop the streaming. As you know, this process will take a bit, so be patient. Okay, first I will check the browser, okay, from live server. Oh well. Okay, now let's check the this one. You can see because I'm I'm using the rail server, so not the local host, and you can see my video over here. So and there is one view which is the, of course me. Uh, now let's try the OBS. Uh, use the third party, and then go to obvious 
Africa settings. Farm setting. Copy and go to edges. Stream and then select the custom and then the URL and then go to the stream key and change the stream key. Then go OK. Now start streaming. When you see the green box over here in this corner, the right bottom corner. So it means uh, your video is now live. You can check from here by visiting this link. So I'm live from OBS third party application. It will load and then you will see your face over there. Okay, the thing is, uh, whoever is logged in, okay. So now you have seen the both way. The first way is to start browsing broadcast. Uh, second one is broadcast with third party software. This should be OBS. It should be anything. You can find lots of open source software online. Uh, you can use them. So hope you have liked this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. Or for any video you want me to make according uh, mobile applications for uh, web applications, for REST APIs, for Flutter, for WordPress of course, uh, you can leave it, your comment behind, so I will I'll come to you guys as soon as possible, so thank you, thank you for watching.